were always sidekicks. There was Bucky for Captain America and Robin for Batman. I thought it would be fun to have a teenager who's a real superhero himself. And then I figured, well, what will his life be like? I thought it would be nice to make him a guy who didn't have everything working right for him. He didn't have enough money. Um, he didn't have that many girlfriends. Then the ultimate, he thought he was responsible for the death of his uncle. That, that was too much. But I tried, I tried to figure, besides the super qualities, what kind of people are they? What lives do they live? I, I had mentioned somewhere before, I always wondered, Superman, where did he live? You know, did he live in an apartment, a condo, a house? What was his private life, except for the fact that he liked Lois Lane, and nobody knew who he was when he took off his glasses? <laughs> so, all I tried to do was give all of my superheroes some sort of a private life, and something that might worry them or bother them, because everybody has something that worries and bothers them. I'm worried and bothered that I may be take, talking too long. <laughs> so I, I just tried to make them human beings who happen to have superpower also. Uh, I'd like to go with that. Yeah. 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 I'd, I'd just like to say St. Louis can now add another Stan the Man to being one of their favorite people. What is your favorite um, superhero that you've created? What is your favorite superhero? I'll take the easy way out. Spider-Man. <laughs> I hope somebody is taping this so I can show to my wife. She won't believe it. <laughs> uh, what first inspired you to start making comic books? What first inspired you to create comic books? Read. <laughs> no, really, I, we didn't have much money. My, it was during the Depression. My father was unemployed, and I had to see if I could make a few bucks. So I had a lot of odd jobs, and then I heard that there was this publishing company, and they were looking for an assistant in one of the departments. I didn't know it was comics. They published a lot of books. They published detective books, men's books, romance books, movie books, and they had this little inky thing, Department of Comics. So I went up there to apply for a job, and I saw it was in the comic department, run by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. And, they, and they deserved it. And I was um, just hired to be their assistant. I filled their ink wells. They used pen and ink in those days. And I went down and got them sandwiches, and I did proofreading. Little by little, I started writing, because they needed help with the writing. And then something happened, and they left the company. And I was all alone in the department. I was about 17, 18 years old. Oh, God. And the publisher said, can you look after things till I hire you know, a real person? <laughs> <laughs> when you're 17 or 18, what do you know? I said, sure, I can take care of it. And I, he forgot to hire the real person. He said, there are the sense. <laughs> Again, what was the question? That was a fabulous <laughs> answer. <laughs> Sometimes I start 